Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna take these old steely truck wheels and we're gonna make them look really cool like this. First thing we're gonna do is lift up the front and take both the front wheels off. And I'm actually gonna take them to work and dismount the tires, uh, which will make everything a little bit easier. You don't have to do this, but it'll turn out a little bit nicer. After I removed the tires, um, I just put some degreaser on them and sprayed them off with the power washer. It got some of the brake dust off. And it's interesting, it looked all rusty, but it was actually just old brake dust on there, probably from the metallic pads. It bites into the factory wheel paint that rusts on top, but underneath it's not actually as rusty as you might think. But there probably is a little bit of rust here and there because they are steel wheels. But next, I'll go ahead and remove the metal valve stems. I got some new ones. That's what the spacer looks like. You can tell there's a lot of brake dust on the back. And I got some off with the power washer, but we want to get them completely clean, or at least as much as possible. And I got this uh, Meguiar's all-wheel cleaner, and I like this stuff a lot. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Um, and this is the stuff that changes color as it cleans. There's some more wheel cleaner in a black bottle um, by Black Magic, and I found that one kind of sucked. And we'll just spray them down and just let that soak in there. It starts to turn purple once it starts eating up the brake dust, but I'm just gonna let that soak in. See how it's all like changing purple? It gets the brake dust. Um, next, I'll just take some steel wool. And look at that brake dust is coming right off of there. But anyways, I'll just finish uh, cleaning these up best I can. Probably also use like a brush. Keep getting them until they're clean. Okay, so they cleaned up pretty darn well. And so far the Meguiar's uh, is the best uh, wheel cleaner that I have tried. I'll let you guys know if I find one that's better. But next, just in case there's like any uh, wheel cleaner residue or anything like that left on the wheels, I'm gonna take some Eastwood pre-green, pre-painting prep. And I'm gonna take some uh, white lint-free rags and just wipe them down really good. Next, I'll take some clean maroon scuff pads uh, and go ahead and just dry scuff the wheels up. We just wanna get rid of any shininess. And then after that, I'll do a couple rounds of the pre-green. Okay, I blew out little crevices of compressed air. And for the final prep, I'm gonna be using the Eastwood's pre-painting prep. This stuff is pretty strong. And it's best to put this on a rag and then go behind it. It takes a little while for it to evaporate, which is good. Get it in there and then I use a clean rag to really get it clean. Ideally, you wanna keep doing this until the rags are like completely clean. But you want this nice chalky matte look that's all like, scuffed up and that's really going to absorb all that paint. Okay, the wheels are all prepped and ready to go. And I went ahead and masked off the bead sealing surface just because it's, you know, already smooth and like in pretty good shape and it holds air really well. I just didn't want to risk getting any paint, especially because I'm brushing on uh, their backside. But anyways, for the backside, I'm going to be uh, brushing on some Eastwood uh, Rust Encapsulator Platinum. And that's just for like, you know, the little bits of rust and stuff that's kind of on here. I really like this paint. You can paint it over, you know, surface rust. But I really like this paint. You can paint it over like, you know, well-prepared rust uh, or metal. And I haven't had any problems like painting it over, you know, stuff that's already coated. It seems to hold on and protect it really well. And I'm gonna just brush on a nice medium coat. Um, just on the back side. And you can also spray this stuff on as well, but you have to add exhaling to kind of thin it out so it can go through the spray gun. And especially painting inside, I like to wear, you know, a respirator. And let's go ahead and get this painted. Uh, 
I did get a little bit of that encapsulator on the front, but that's okay because you can top coat it between four and 48 hours of pretty much any paint. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some primer. This is the Raptor Anti-Corrosive Epoxy Primer. This stuff is pretty cool. It's actually almost like a rust encapsulator as well, because uh, it says in the technical documentation that you can spray it over properly prepared rust. And I'm using it mainly because you know I have a whole bunch of it left. Uh, I think it's actually a really good product. I had some issues, but those were caused by me um, spraying it in direct sunlight when it was too hot. It didn't adhere very well, I'll say that. Of course, guys, this is just how I'm painting my wheels. There's probably like a million and one ways to paint wheels, but I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this stuff up and spray about two to three coats. Uh, about 10 minutes apart. That's kind of cool. The Raptor Liner Primer has like a very mild texture to it um, just by itself. And I think that's intentional, but I think it will look pretty cool. It's almost been an hour since the last uh, coat. And I got some Eastwood Rat Rod Satin Black. And this is a single stage uh, two-part urethane. There's the hardener. Go ahead and mix this up and yeah. do two to three coats, uh, with about 10 minutes in between. Been about maybe five or six days since I painted these. They've just been sitting in the basement curing. And you want to give them a little bit of time um, before you, you know, put the tires back on and stuff like that. But I think they look pretty good. Next, I'm going to install some new valve stems. And I just got these on Amazon. And they come with two different seals. And these use the bigger one. But they're pretty simple. Um, just got the stem and then the seal. And then you install it. Make sure that little lip goes in there all the way and you install this washer with the uh, convex part facing up concave facing down and then the little nut these are just a 14 millimeter and we'll just snug it up you don't have to go crazy tight but I want it snug to the point where you can see the seal kind of smushed and also next i'm just going to take a uh, you know cheap razor blade and kind of scrape the paint out of where the uh, lug nut seat sits okay i took the tires and wheels to work and reinstalled them and balanced them so we're ready to install them back on the front i uh, scraped all the paint out of where the lugs go. And instead of reusing uh, the original lug nuts where the threads stick out, I got some uh, chrome capped lug nuts. And I bought these on Amazon. They weren't even that expensive. I got 32 of them for about like 50 bucks. And they're the right thread and angle and everything and they fit great on the rear i believe it's like a 60 degree seat and even my dad's had uh amazon lugs on his f-150 here because the original ones have this like little cap that gets all messed up and you have to replace them he's had these on here for quite a long time a couple years i think and he hasn't had any issues with the you know cheaper amazon lugs and i just got my big half inch d-wall impact and the torque spec for this van i believe is 140 foot pounds so this should work great and i've used torque sticks uh you know for 10 years i've never had an issue okay thread them all on by hand All of the wheels are done. It looks so much better than it did. Not much money, just a lot of work. But me personally, I really like the chrome lugs on that satin black. I think it looks really good. 
I'm definitely not a fan of hubcaps. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you found this video useful. You know, there's a lot of different ways you could paint your wheels. A lot of different methods you could use, but this is just what I used, and I think it turned out pretty well. And I think it's quite fun, you know, fixing up old vehicles, making them look cooler than they ever did. But when you're poor like me, it's really your only option, and you'll learn a lot of great skills in the process. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you next time. Peace out. Peace out.